Greetings everybody. So today I want to talk about a Windows version called Mode S and all the limitation and benefit that it provides. And I'm going to show you how you can convert that S mode version to a home version or pro version of Windows 10. And that's going to depend on which version that's installed under the Mode S. Now Windows Mode S is basically Windows way of trying to lock down Windows so you can't install apps from any third party, but only from the store. Now they're doing that for security reasons, trying to lock down Windows so you won't be getting a lot of viruses and stuff like that by downloading and installing third party apps. So basically that version of Windows is more like the Apple Store where you can only download apps for the iPhone and the iPad from the Apple Store and you can't really get any from the third party unless you know some way of working around it by being a little bit more technical. Now if you're that kind of user that don't mind getting your apps from the Windows Store and you don't plan on getting any apps from anywhere outside that Windows Store, well you'll be fine by getting a computer with Windows Mode S. Another limitation you're going to run into is the kind of browser you want to use to browse the web. In Windows Mode S you can only use the Edge browser. So forget about using Chrome. Firefox or any other web browser that's available on the market. So my recommendation if you don't want a lockdown version of Windows is to at least get Windows home version. If you plan on connecting your system to a domain, a network domain that is, then you want to go for the Windows Pro version. But stay away from the Windows Mode S version if you don't want to be locked down. So how would you know which version of Windows that you're running? So what you want to do is go down to the Start button. Right click on that and go all the way up to System. Once you click on System, it's going to pop up another window which will display which version of Windows you are currently running. Now if you do decide or you already have a computer that's in S mode, there is a way to get out of that S mode and go to a regular version, either home or professional. It all depends on which version is running under that S mode. So the first thing you'd have to do is go to the Windows Store and search for switch out of S mode. After the search result, you're going to download that app that's going to let you actually switch out of S mode. But once you do that, you cannot go back to S mode. So this is not a reversible process. So if you want to stay in S mode, don't do this procedure because you cannot go back once you take it out of S mode. All right, so there you have it. I just wanted to share this bit of information with you in case you're in the market of buying a laptop or a desktop. And then after you get that computer and you realize you cannot install any apps beyond what's in the app store, well, that's the reason why. It locks you down to only download the stuff from the Windows Store and prevents you from using any other browser except Edge. If that's okay with you, then go with the Windows S version. If not, go with the Windows Home or Pro version depending on what you're trying to do with that system. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching it. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.